Hello, South Fork family. I hope everyone is doing well today and enjoying the, the weather. I know it's a little bit cooler today than what it's been the past few days, but uh, we have had some beautiful weather lately to, to be able to be out in the midst of all that's going on right now. Uh, I do want to begin this Bible study video with just a few quick reminders um, and updates. Uh, you know, once again, we're, we're considering the guidance of the officials, uh, the government officials, and also continuing discussion with other leaders at South Fork. And we're, we're not going to be meeting physically for worship this week. Uh, and we're not going to be having other in-person gatherings either. Uh, that includes monthly meeting and ministry and council. But we are trying uh, to find ways to keep communication going and uh, make sure that you know uh, what's happening and so just be looking out for that information. So with that, we are uh, looking for extra opportunities to create community, and we will be communicating those as we figure out how to make them possible. Uh, but until then, uh, just keep looking out for the, the worship videos, the spiritual formation opportunities uh, through our digital channels, being email, uh, YouTube, videos like this, and, and just look for the, the different information that's gonna be coming out. So uh, we're, we're gonna keep communicating as much as we can, uh, but we want to make sure that we're looking out for the, the good of everyone uh, right now in this time. So uh, with that, uh, we do want to just take some time to, to have our Bible study. Um, I know we're not going in-depth. It's really hard to do an in-depth video on a whole chapter of the Bible, but uh, we're going to be in John chapter 17 this week. And, and I hope, if anything, that uh, this conversation, conversation just spurs your thoughts and, and gets you to dig into the Word and see uh, what's going on in, in these chapters. And so uh, with John chapter 17, it's the conclusion of uh, the dialogue and the teaching that Jesus began in chapter 13 with the, uh, with, with the, the washing of the disciples' feet. So um, we're, we're getting to the end of that. These, this is the last things that Jesus is saying to his disciples. And so we, uh, we want to uh, pay attention to them. They're important words. And, and with that in mind, as you read the chapter and pay attention to it. Uh, you know, I just want, want you to pay attention to these prayers that Jesus is praying to his heavenly father. Uh, he, he's showing his trust and his obedience to the father and his desire to, to be one with the father. And he, he takes time also to pray for his disciples, pay attention to how he prays for his disciples. And then he prays for all believers. And, and uh, just the, the great end of the chapter is that uh, Jesus is praying for us too, because the very words that we see in there is he's praying for those who will believe uh, he's praying for us today. Uh, and so those prayers, uh, they, they, they apply right now for us. It's, uh, it's just a reminder that what we're going through has not taken God by surprise. And um, I, I just take such comfort in, in that reminder that uh, God is still on the throne of heaven. It, it may feel a little bit different right now. We, we have a lot happening, a lot going on, but uh, we can still trust in God. Uh, but just as you get into the chapter, um, I, I just want you to think for a moment as, uh, as you prepare to go on a trip somewhere, uh, what are those preparations that you make? We, Mary and I have a couple of cats now. Uh, and before we go anywhere, uh, we always take time to, to let whoever's going to be looking after our house and our animals uh, know what to do. And uh, you, you know, Mary, you know that she leaves plenty of uh, reminders and information to, uh, to make sure that everything gets taken care of. She's very good about all those details. Uh, and so we just see Jesus kind of having that kind of heart that he's making sure everything is going to be taken care of. Everybody he loves is going to be cared for as well. And so uh, Jesus is showing us his, his heart uh, and, and his trust in his father. Uh, and also that he's, he's entrusting his disciples into God's hands. So uh, this is just such a great chapter on trusting God. And so with that, I want to uh, go to the verse that I chose for this week uh, about trusting God and uh, like I said, Jesus is, is trusting God. He trusts God for himself. He trusts God uh, to, to care for his disciples, and he trusts God to care for us today. And so uh, with that, we want to do John chapter 17, verses 20 and 21, where he says, my prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that, that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I in you. May they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. And once again, that comes from John 17, 20 and 21. Uh, so just a few observations about this verse in the chapter as we pay attention to it. 
uh, the, this chapter, it, it just helps us understand Jesus's heart, uh, that he, he has such love for God and he is willing to do whatever it takes to be faithful. Uh, Jesus shows his unconditional trust in his heavenly father. I mean, think about what is about to happen. The very next verses of chapter uh, 18 are, are going to be about him being betrayed and all that's going to transpire uh, as we get near Easter and, and we remember it during this uh, Easter season. Uh, but uh, one of the great pieces in here is that Jesus is, is telling us and reminding us that even our unity today reflects his unity with his heavenly father. It reflects uh, that, that kind of trust that we are invited to practice today. And so uh, there's an important part of our belief uh, that is going on here that uh, we believe uh, in, in Jesus and that he is sent by the father. That's one of the verses that we see earlier in the chapter. Uh, that Jesus didn't just show up on his own, but he is showing up on behalf of the Father. And everything he is showing us and demonstrating and teaching is about showing us who the Father is. So our choice is, is, that we are left with is to either live in unity with other believers who believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God uh, and that he helps, us, uh, he helps us to believe in God. But also he is inviting us through our belief to invite others around us uh, throughout the world to believe in God as well. And, and um, this, this is just one of those times in history where people are searching, people are trying to figure things out. Uh, they they, they want to understand where they can have peace in the midst of the chaos. And so how we choose to live and trust God right now, uh, it helps others around us also. So just as I was thinking about this and, and how to apply these words to our lives this week, this is what I took away. And maybe you go back and you study and you have a different verse that just stands out and, and uh, grips your heart. Uh, I invite you to, to figure out that application for yourself and how God and the Holy Spirit are leading you. Uh, but for me, as I, I looked at that verse, John uh, 20, uh, 17, 20, and 21, he says, according, I, I put it, according to Jesus, our most important task is to believe the message of the disciples regarding who Jesus is. It provides unity between us as believers and also uh, with other churches. We, we continue to trust in who Jesus is. He is God's son and he is worth being followed. And, and out of that, we invite others to believe. Uh, and, and that's just the sense of unity that grows. And uh, I have this picture here just thinking about the idea of unity. And, and we see the hands that are connected. This was definitely taken uh, before these past couple of months. But uh, we, we can't be physically close. Uh, but there are other ways that we can show our love, our solidarity, our solidarity, and our unity with others. And, and that's by caring for others as we would care for ourselves right now. We, we have a little bit of distance that we're leaving uh, in, in our circumstances, but we, we want to care well. We give people space, but we also look out for their needs. And who of us doesn't like for, for someone to just ask the question? We actually got a message earlier from some of the young adults to the young adult group, and, and I just thought it was so great. They were saying, we're going to Walmart. Does anybody need anything? We'll run it by your house. Uh, just look for opportunities to, to care for each other. This is a way that uh, we show God's love. And uh, just this last statement I have down here, if Jesus cares about our relationships with other believers, and, and I will extend that to think about our neighbors as well, it should be important to us. If Jesus took the time to pray for it, we should be praying for our relationships also. This is such an important time as we're, we're separated by physical space. Uh, we are not separated by the Spirit. Uh, but we are drawn closer by that spirit. And so I, I just uh, look forward to coming out um, on the other side of all this and uh, just a, a growing sense of unity in, in South Fork and all the other churches uh, that God has his way and he, he guides us and directs us in all of our steps. And, and so with that, I just want to take a moment to, to pray for us. And um, this is the prayer that I wrote out initially, and I'm going to read it, uh, but I'm going to add a little bit in there as well. So uh, let's just take some time uh, and join me wherever you are in praying. God, I, I pray that you will help us to remain unified today. Help us to show love to each other as we follow the example Jesus gave us to follow. Help us to remember that we are unified because we believe that Jesus is your son. You sent him to show us who you are. Nothing else is more important than this. May, may the love Jesus revealed be in us and be shown through our lives. God, we also want to take not time right now to remember all of those uh, in, in our community and throughout the world who are serving. Uh, 
Uh, we have medical professionals, we have nurses and doctors and staff members and janitors and so many people that are looking out for the needs uh, of those who are sick right now. Uh, we lift them up and, and pray your, your protection, uh, that you will sustain them through this uh, crisis. Lord, we pray for those that volunteer, uh, those that uh, show up when there is a need, whether it be firefighters or policemen or EMS workers. Uh, we, we thank you for their willingness to, to run towards danger, to run towards needs. Uh, and God, we pray for your protection over them as well. And so God, we thank you that you are calling us to be together uh, as, even as we are physically separated. Uh, so Lord, we pray that our relationships with, with other believers uh, help other people to, to know you as well. So may our neighbors know that you are good and you're faithful and that you haven't abandoned us because we are growing in our love in spite of the physical distance uh, that is between us today. So God, we love you and we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Just uh, a few last things as we finish up this video. Uh, we want to invite you to participate in the digital community uh, around Facebook. This video is going to be posted there. It's also, it's hosted on YouTube. Uh, consider sharing your reactions in the comments and that you can find those below. Uh, share, share your prayer requests or even your praises. Other people want to be able to celebrate. We, we need good things to, to hear right now. So share those praises also. If you see someone's comment, you can uh, just write a quick word there or you can pray over it wherever you are. And then the last thing is I want to invite you to subscribe to the South Fork channel. I've been hosting it before now on uh, my YouTube page, but we're going to move it over this week to the South Fork channel. And if you do that, you will be notified, notified of all the updates and comments as they're posted. And uh, just hope you are, are taking care that you, uh, and, and most of all, I just want to know, like, want you to know, like I tell you each week, is that I love you and, and that I look forward to being able to get together and see everyone uh, once all of this has passed and to uh, worship God together. So until then, I, I love you and take care.